Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. Today we are outside the Cow Calf Hay. Yes, so it is the Cow Calf Hay. Very funny, good play on words. So yeah, we're here to do their six shooter burger challenge. It's basically a big six patty burger. Um, you have a big thing of fries, you have a dessert, which apparently changes, and you have a drink as well. You have a total of, oh, and onion rings, and onion rings. You have a total of 45 minutes to complete it. Uh, I think there is a record by Brandon, which is just a bit over seven minutes. Otherwise, Randy Santel did this challenge as well. Not sure his time, I think it was about maybe 10 minutes. Uh, not going for a real record today, but we're just gonna have some fun here, Miss Raina. So let's go on in, eat some food, and let's have fun. All right, everyone, so here we are with the challenge. So we have the massive burger. We have all a crazy pile of onion rings. Uh, we got curly fries. Then we have a cinnamon bun for dessert, so that's pretty cool. I always like dessert. Uh, Marina, what do you think? Looks good, eh? It looks amazing. All right, so basically we're just going to go at it. I got on this burger hoodie. People have asked me where I get it, so I'm going to put a link down below. Definitely go grab yourself one as well. So pretty dope. We're going to body some burgers. There you go. I've been trying to remember that term. I find it hilarious. So uh, yeah, let's get started. What do you say, Raina? Count of five, four. Sounds good. That's a very slow count. Three, <laughs> two, one. Let's go. Thank you. Tasty burger. Thank you. <laughs> Usually she's always on the girl. A little bit of both today. <laughs> Nice and hot, really good though. Two and a half minutes in, the burger's gone. Yeah. 
Good tasting so far. Cinnamon bun, but dense. Holy cow! Honestly, it's probably the best cinnamon bun, cinnamon bun I've ever had. But I think it was dense. So I think it was about six minutes forty seconds. <clears throat> Excuse me. Very delicious. Um, I really like you said, that cinnamon bun. I can't say enough. I wish I could enjoy it a little bit more, but I figured I might as well get that record at the end. So Rena is crushing it. She's it's really good. It's she's like well done half on the challenge, but that cinnamon bun you're gonna enjoy it. So. Mm. I'm very tempted to get another sip of Bob. See if I get free dessert. Anyway, so what's going in is right now, destroys the rest of this challenge. I still have a t-shirt, just get another dessert. Like mm. I'll make a couple. Great idea. I think a t-shirt's worth a few sip of Bob. That was actually a delicious sip of Bob. Like, it was really well good. worth it. That was delicious. Great way to finish off. Thank <laughs> you. 
No, sorry, we're talking to me. My apologies. Um, I'll have uh, another water in the way, so it'll be great. Thanks so much. Yeah, I'm again. Always get that in. Get that out. <laughs> What'd you say? I was like, so you have 45 minutes to complete it, but you have to wait. Only if we get only if we get another dozen cinnamon rolls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got I gotta be paid something for my time, right? Yeah. Well worth it, right? Well worth it. Oh great, thank you so much. Is there a, uh, a method to the methods and methods to go protein first and then like all the parts or like how do you What'd you say, sorry? Like on, on a challenge like that, is it best to go like just meat first and then all the sides or um I would like, stick to one like it's a burger challenge or it's like a burrito yeah. challenge or whatever. I would it, it depends. Generally it's best to go like you know, Generally, you'd probably want to go like with the items that are going to be the worst cold first. Yeah. So like if you figured that burger patty or the burger was going to be really awful if it was colder, yeah. uh, then you might want to do it first. Part of it's just preference, like for that. If, if I thought this was going to take me 30 minutes, it might be a little bit of a different story. But uh, yeah, it kind of just depends. Get down what you can. As long as it gets down, it's all that matters. Right? Yeah. It all goes in the same spot. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you, I appreciate it. I've never it. seen anybody. I've, I've, never, I've never even known anybody. Yeah. 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 Same dinner and a show. Yeah. 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 More than you bargained for on yeah. a Sunday morning. Yeah. Yeah. They used to have like a shake that went with it too. Yeah, so, yeah, so she was saying that like it rotates with their desserts. So it was like it could be a cookie or a milkshake or a lava cake and it was that's it. So we didn't know where actually we were getting to each other. And the cinnamon bun was really good, so I'm glad that was the yeah. So like eleven and a half minutes in, Rena is dominating. Basically just down that spin button and a little bit of a burger left. Keep it up girl, you are crushing it. And she's gonna love that cinnamon bun. Oh, Brandon's bodying that burger. I'll get used to saying it. It'll come more naturally. It sounds so stupid. But it just You sound like a stupid chat. Like a chat. I won't take a chance. Oh my god, Joe, you're so fetch. You're so fetch. I've never heard of fetch. Like me, though. Oh. Is butter a carb? <laughs> <laughs> Like sweet things, but I love it. So I'm sure she's gonna love it too. And if not, I'll eat. I'm just kidding. Oh, it's dead. It's dense. It's, it's thick with like five C's. 
Is that like gooey gooey amazing or what? I think you overhyped it. It's good, but not like wow oh my god. <laughs> Don't listen to her. Why is this not warm like you described it? Yeah, because you took so long to describe it. I'll translate for her. It's good. A lot of chewy, gooey gooey. I got your back. Thank you. I am a professional full mouth reader. It's, uh, it's a skill, but from talking with my mouth full a lot, I have come to adapt and learn the skill. <laughs> like right now, Rain is saying, geez, Louise, Joel. And 16 minutes in, going very strong, down to them last bites. It's very good. I told you it was this. stop and it restarted but it was like 17 minutes I believe let's say 17 minutes congratulations Reina thank you crushed it what'd you think of the challenge Ooh, it was delicious it was delicious she said so that everybody hope you enjoy until next time say happy I'll be hungry happy eating don't do what we do this is a really cool spot definitely grab yourself a cinnamon bun my shirts are so tired <laughs> you're full yeah. Excellent. When I came in, these shirts were fitted. Now I'm like <laughs> stretching the story. Yeah, yeah. Oh well, they're putting pants to work today. And an extra special thank you to Asia, Lisa, and Tony for coming up to support. Much love here in OKC. So thanks again for coming out. Uh, Tony's from Texas, so we're going to be heading down to get some good barbecue later this week. So thanks y'all for coming out, and uh, hope you enjoyed the show. Some art. This is their entertainment district here, Bricktown. We're heading into. So that's pretty cool. Not sure what all we'll find here, uh, especially on a Sunday morning, but. We'll find out. Bricktown. In Bricktown, lots of different... Uh, Hot rod dogs. Yeah, lots of different bars and stuff, obviously. Car Town. The Bridge. The Bridge, Rocky and Co. Definitely some brick. Hence the term Bricktown. I think there's even more up here. 
There's a water canal that kind of goes through it, so it's pretty interesting. But uh, yeah, definitely a bar and pub area. And we're approaching the state capitol building, which has a very large green space, number of different monuments and stuff there. You can see it on our left. And then up there we have the building, which we will now see. And it's really funny, we just passed it, but there's a working like oil, I don't know what you call them, oil pump thingy thing on the property, which is pretty funny. Uh, look, there's some oil things right there, Philip 66. Um, but yeah, we'll go out and uh, check this place out. As Long As Waters Flow by Alan Hauser. Born near Apache, Oklahoma, June 30th, 1914, son of Sam and Blossom, commissioned before the state capitol by the state of Oklahoma and the state of Cool, dedicated 1989. It's a nice uh, memorial. Oklahoma State Capitol, which is massive. Very large building. It looks like it was erected in 1907. Like, huge building. Huge building. Obviously, there are some kind of protests because it looks like there are some supplies there from something, but yeah, it's a Sunday, so we can't do a tour today, but very impressive sized building. Very, very, very big. Like, the camera does not do it justice. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Another, uh... And a Native American uh, statue. This big oil thing thing there. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Here's another view of it, just to give you a better perspective. Like I couldn't even guess how high that, like how many feet up that is. That's just, I mean, these stairs are, I don't know, 30 feet up itself. And then just the size of that door, and to comprehend, holy jump it, that pillar is like six feet across, my arm span across, and then just to, uh, just to comprehend how big that door is, 1907, like, this is me. And this is the door. It's huge. Huge, eh, Reyna? So this statue is apparently a tribute to the Riders of the Range. I'm not really 100% sure what that means, but it looks like it has something to do with um, the founding of kind of Oklahoma. So yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Horse, cactus, and a rider. State capital. And here we have the Oklahoma War Memorial um, for the Oklahoma veterans who died in the war. We have commemoration of the First World War. Commemoration of the Second World War. Commemoration of the Korea War. Commemoration of the Vietnam War. Hopefully you guys can see that a little bit. It's kind of hard with the sun behind it. Yeah, maybe a little better there. And countless, countless names. Wow, that is both impressive and horrifying and daunting. And it really, oh, and here's commemoration of um, both the Iraq, other operations that are more recent. Just, yeah, I mean, just, whew. Yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of hard to uh, even talk about, but very breathtaking. But, um, you know, definitely huge thanks to everybody who 
who fought in the war and uh, you know gave the ultimate sacrifice for uh, you know freedom of not only America but North America and you know ultimately a lot of the world. Yeah, commemoration. One thing I find about uh, Oklahoma as well, lots of commemoration for, um, you know, not only those who we refer to as Americans, but also those we refer to as Native Americans. And uh, like you said, flame of freedom burns eternally in honor of the Oklahoma veterans who served in the war. So I think maybe normally there's a flame in there. Oh wait, there kind of is. Okay, you definitely can't see it because I can barely see it. I can just kind of see the the gas. Okay, yeah, there is. I don't know if you guys can see that at all, but there actually is a flame in there right now. There's actually a flame in there right now. Yeah, come to the side, you can see it. So yeah, that is quite the memorial. Beautiful, right in front of oh, the state wow. capitol.